Today I want to try and tie uh, sort of a variation of a monker. A monker is like a zonker stripped fly with a with a deer hair head. So I'm going to do it a little bit different to some of the ones I've seen. So here I've got a sharpener, pencil sharpener, and I'm going to take my 3.2 millimeter outer tube and just sharpen the end of it to give me a little bit of a, a taper. And then I'm going to cut that off only about 12 mil or so of that because I'm really only using it to hold a hook. So I take my inner tube, flame that, and cool it down, and then pass that in from the rear of our tube and pull it in to within a few mil or so of the end of that. And then put that onto our tube fly holder. So, and put a little bit of super glue there at the join of those two. Take our thread and I'm wrapping on the outer tube here, just to tighten it down. I'm going to take a little bit of an olive, sort of light bright kind of dubbing, and put on just a little ball, just where the thickening of the uh, of the inner tube splayed the outer a little bit there. And tie that off. Again, I'm going to add a little bit of glue there, and then I'm taking a comb, it's quite a heavy brass comb, and I'm just going to push that up in there. And that is the base for what we're going to tie the fly on. Take some uh, large mailer tube, and this one here is a large yellow from Barvis. And I'm just going to start at the end and just pick it apart. Only for maybe ten mil or so. And then we're gonna reattach our tie and silk. Now the weight here is just to sink this thing because the deer hair head will naturally want to float. So because we've got this picked apart, it should slide past our tie and thread. And that'll give us like a skirt. Then we pick apart the bit in front. Notice the bit in front is a bit shorter. Then we we'll fold that back. Next I'm going to put on some eyes. Now you can buy ready made eyes or make them yourself. These ones I made. I made them by flaming a little bit of nylon and then that just left a little knob on the end of it and I put a little bit of UV cure gel onto that and set it. Then I put on a little bit of yellow varnish for the colour, let it dry and then another coat of the UV cure resin. I'll just 
finish that in. Now, they need a zonker strip of some description. A lot of them use uh, use a possum, which is, I suppose, the best one is future fly to use for that. I'm going to use a bit of a rabbit strip here, which has been cut into a V. And this is like a golden olive coloured rabbit strip. Set that on there. Um, break my thread. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue onto my thread and just wrap over that to keep that in place. So, now I'm going to take two of these rubbery leg things and have them cut to a length of about, let's see, about seven centimeters or so there. So I'm going to tie them in across their middle and then take them over to the other side, tie them in there too. So then we'll have two flapping on either side. And then I'm going to take a little bit of our olivey light bright stuff and also set that up on top as a little bit of flash and fold that back. And for a little bit of added flash, I'm going to put in a couple of strands of Mirage crinkle on top there as well. Trim them off to be the same. Thanks. Now, when I was experimenting with this tie-in um, with just the modeler head, but I liked putting this in. This is a cock pheasant rump feather and it's been dyed in a sort of a fluorescent olive colour. And I think that'll fit this sort of golden olive scheme quite well. It's like a spay hackle essentially. So I'm going to double that. Over. I'm going to wind that on this tie-in section here because it's quite difficult to uh, to wrap deer hair on that. So the idea of this is just to take up that little bit of space there. taking shape. So, I'm just going to run a little bit of glue onto that just to hold that in place. And now I'm going to take this which is like a yellowy coloured deer hair. Cut off a good bunch of that. And we want the tips of this to form like a fake hackle. So I'm setting that up and then I'm going to let it splay all the way around. Get on a couple of loose wraps and then tighten it down into itself and then we're wrapping through the deer hair. Just, you have to wiggle it to stop it from tying itself down. force that back to tighten it up because we don't want to have a lot of inner tubing out here if we can at all help it. And we'll put on one more bunch of deer hair in front of that before we start to trim. So again place it on a couple of loose wraps, let it splay all around and then force that back in there. I cut 
couple of loose wraps just to tighten them off. So now I'm going to take a bit of super glue, just set it around the end of that to set our tie and silk, but also I'm just going to stroke that back a little bit and that'll give us the beginning of the shape of the cone of the head before we start to, to trim. And then we'll trim down our inner tube there. that down to finish it. Taking care not to set fire to the fly. <laughs> so, now we need to shape this deer hair. You can use scissors but I'm going to use this as a little stone flow or stone fly uh, tool and it's got a, a razor blade bent inside it. And that has a natural curve on it. Your, your fly and gently push that through it. Now for me, I'm going to trim it a little bit more underneath because I think that should make it swim on a more even keel. Hopefully. And then we just take our scissors and that'll allow us to do the final sort of a more precision trim. is our bunker.